Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial this year, part 9. So, in my last video, I was discussing about the GDG and its importance, what is base, what is generations, and other, and other important act, other important things using while working with the GDG. So, in this video, I would like to share something about with the various bypass activities that we will be using while working with the JCL. So, below are the three important techniques that we techniques use for bypassing the activities. So in a JCL there might be an, uh, any number of activities. There will be uh, some situation uh, like uh, where you need to bypass some activities based on the some conditions, and uh, you need to uh, start executing those uh, activities. So based on those uh, those scenarios, so we, we will be using uh, different uh, techniques. So there are the different techniques are like if conditions, if statements or conditional parameters and rational parameters. So today in this video I will be share I will be telling the importance of if statements. So working with if statements, that will be same like uh, your regular if conditions when working with the COBOL or C or C++, whatever the programming language you work. So it is a simple syntax that we use. So if statement is coded with activity name based on the previous statement activity status, that is you will be having a set of activities. So it will capture the return code and uh, based on that return code, you can take a particular decision whether you want to bypass that particular activities or you want to run these activities. So important points over here is activity status can be identified by using written code. Written code is a system defined numeric number generated uh, with uh, when activities are executed. So different written codes can be 00 to 4095. So the most important written codes that ca that we come across while working with JCL are 00, it means successful execution, 4 means warning. Sometimes we can skip this warning but important is to make sure that we don't have zero for warnings so it, it based on the use I mean the programs you might return so you might catch it uh, or you can skip it so 08 error so it, it it needs an immediate action to that but your JCL when it is when it is running live in production you need to have an emergency fix to this 08 12 and 16 it is serious error and this is a permanent error so you need to for all these three different kinds of errors, you need an immediate action that need to be fixed. So flush, it indicates that no action against activities. So whenever you bypass some activities, so it will go to flush. So it indicates that no action indicated against activities. That is like if you are having a 20 activities in your JCL, some might go to flush. So it's based on the condition. So let us see an example of uh, how uh, if condition works. So this is the below JCL, this is a JCL, it is having uh, th three different kinds of activities. So this is activity one, which is having program one, activity two, program two. What I'm doing today is I'm trying to check the condition. So check uh, one, if activity zero one dot written code equal to zero zero, if activity is success one, that is program one is successfully executed, uh, it throws a written code zero zero, then, then only you can execute uh, then only you try to run this activity or else don't run this activity and uh, uh, go to or you can you might be having activity 4 activity 5 and uh, you want to have activity 6 also so on so based on this you can take the condition it starts with if and it starts with end of it is so uh, easy and uh, so imp uh, it's very much important when you work real time so so that's it uh, that's all for this today's video i will be coming in my next video i will be explaining about the conditional parameter and restart parameters so keep keep stay tuned to uh, my mainframe tutorials thank you so much for watching this video if you feel uh, this video is helpful kindly please share subscribe comment me on my youtube channel thank you so much have a great and wonderful day